So I said, enough. Someone please confess the truth. My parents clearly pharmacologically abused me with premeditated intent. And Dr. Garrett said in reply, Andrew, why can't you hold on to the understanding that you occasionally reach that the way your mind works is your chief persecutor? That is the question of the day, not why won't they confess. Like a person standing in one place, slowly turning around and around in one spot in an endless loop between reason and daydream that leads nowhere in the real world, you ask the same questions again and again. The reason your family and your healthcare providers don't confess to torturing you is that they have nothing to confess. Simple. Full stop. How many times will you ask this question? I would estimate that you have asked the same question at least a hundred times, if not more. Will you ask it a thousand times? Ten thousand times? Will you still be asking the same question when you are fifty years old? Your mind tortures you. When you press yourself to socialize despite everyone's attempt to help you, your mind conjures up an illusory minefield of obstacles that threaten you, leaving you feeling awkward, self-conscious, afraid of the world. Instead of facing your anxieties, you double down on your daydream. As we have discussed on numerous occasions, your quest for our confessions is a dead-end road. The good news is that you have enough to offer people if you can keep from including them in your delusional daydreams to make your company rewarding to other people. Dr. G.